Hi, everyone, and welcome to our new video series, A Conversation with the Branded Program. We thought it would be interesting to talk to you in a new and more visual way to learn about the Branded Program topics, since you haven't been able to see us face-to-face -face at our regular in-person activities and trade shows throughout the year due to the ongoing restrictions of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have received many questions in the past year about how a company can utilize a branded program during the pandemic. The good news is that there are many types of non-travel expenses and ways of repurposing expenses that can help your company export your U.S. food and agricultural products. Joining me today to talk about this topic are my colleagues, Paul Sorensen, who is one of our food export Midwest liaisons, and Haley Dack, who is our food export Northeast Brander Program coordinator. Paul, how has it been for the companies you talk to as they may not be exhibiting at trade shows or able to attend activities and events in person during the pandemic? What are the trends that you're seeing? What expenses do you see being at the forefront of your outreach about the branded program in recent months? Thanks, Howard. Many of the companies that I have talked to have had to continue to adapt their marketing plans this past year to the pandemic. I've been asked a lot about what food export can try to do to connect them with international buyers, as well as how they can utilize their branded program funding allocations in new and different ways. One way that we've seen many companies utilize their branded funding is to get their product increased exposure by shipping samples. When a company makes a connection with a foreign buyer, a way for that buyer to experience the product is to sample it. Usually at in-person events, this is as simple as handing them a sample across the table. However, with the move to many virtual events and the lack of in-person trade shows, we are now encouraging companies to consider shipping samples to interested buyers is an effective marketing strategy that a company can leverage in this current environment. And the good news is that shipping samples to foreign buyers and distributors is an eligible reimbursable expense in the branded program. Haley, from your experience in looking at the claim documentation for shipping sample expenses, what are the best practices you would recommend somebody to follow to pursue this type of expense? Thanks, Paul. We definitely have seen an increase in companies who have repurposed their marketing plans to include shipping samples cost. It is actually one of the easier expenses to submit for. A company will need to provide us with either a freight invoice or a copy of an airway bill that clearly shows the origin, destination, and address of the shipment, as well as an indication that promotional samples are being shipped. Along with the invoice, we would also need to see the proof of payment. Samples can be shipped to consumer agents as well as distributors and buyers in foreign markets and be eligible for reimbursement. As always, the branded program teams are available to answer any questions that you may have when submitting expenses. Thank you, Haley and Paul. As Haley mentioned, we are always here to help. Uh, we hope you will pursue shipping samples in the branded program this year and beyond. Uh, stay tuned for more examples of repurposing expenses coming soon.